All right. Stream cut off before because the internet went out. I actually got a message from my ISP saying that they were doing some service maintenance. So whether or not this stays up, I don't know. If it goes down again, then it's not meant to be. Yeah, can't be helped. All right. So I just fought Estelle. And I got her in a little bit of infinite. Made her much easier. Whether or not I can do that with the other characters, uh, I don't know. But we'll find out. I'll find out. I did die, unfortunately, with uh, falling off the pit. Kevins are the ones to watch out for. They're the ones who do the screen jump. to it. Makes it easier. They're nowhere near as annoying now that I have that hit stun combo. This thing's more more bearable.
All right, so I want to try to keep them limited one at a time or else I'll get overwhelmed. It's a smart move. Just gotta play smart with Floyd. Let them come to me if possible. No reason to try to overextend my reach if possible. Then that's fine. Oh, well, the arcade machine broke. Can't do anything about that. Can I hit stun Barb? And that's the uh, that's the golden question. If it'll allow me to, that'd be great. So if I keep him on this side, on the left, it won't spawn the biker girls. Staying away. All right, he's a little scared. There we go. It's the infinite. Luckily, the bikes were right behind him, so he was he couldn't move. Perfect. So who did I get? I got three Sarish, three Blaze, Skates. Okay. All right, let me go get a drink. <laughs>
Okay. So Chinatown can be annoying because this is the part with the dojo. Block for everybody. Fucker. Come on. Single these guys out one at a time. Single file, please. Shit, I can't grab the turkey, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, that sucks. Son of a bitch. That's lame. Thank you. 
Now, if I can get him in a corner, that'd be better. Here's the annoying part. Fresh one up. This world. Ooh. Oh shit, I got a combo master achievement. Okay. Cool. Not too bad. Shiva time. Alright, so that wasn't that bad. Could have been much worse. Right, time to see how bad Shiva is. If Shiva is a challenge because I'm vertically uh, limited with my mobility. Yes, Ernie, I'm back. What up? What up? I sent a message in the uh, in the chat. But I guess maybe you didn't receive it. Time to fight Shiva. All right. So I actually have four lives as Floyd because the damage he does is so high, it gives me a higher score for everything. So that's actually not too bad. All right. Can I get Shiva in an infinite? That's the question. Like this. I fucked that up.
because he's in a corner. Damn. He does eventually break out of it, okay. See how I was able to stun him for so long? Not not too bad. He does break out of it eventually though. She was a bitch no matter who you play. <laughs> but you see how I was able to get him in a in a infinite? That's what I was doing to the commissioner. Then Estelle. So this is the first time he's ever done the two ghosts. I've never seen him do that. So I guess when his life is really low, that's when he activates it, but he's never done it to me before. This is unnormal. Yeah, that was sick. It was. So this is the thing that I'm, I'm liking with Floyd. It allows me to do that with multiple enemies too, so. I'm starting to feel, oh, this is going to suck because he can't jump well. So the train's going to suck. Oh, God. Just let them get hurt. I just saw a sick combo. You missed it. Uh, earlier I did, uh, when I was in the dojo, I had a uh, out of this world combo. It was the first time I ever got that. So I don't know how many hits that was, but that was an achievement. Uh, so I want to focus on these guys one at a time. Damn. Kind of wanted to continue the combo. Oh well. So time to see if I can get Estelle with the infinite loop. Oh shit, is that higher than sick? Oh, I don't know the tiers of the combos. I think there's like good, great, awesome, amazing, out of this world. I honestly don't know how many numbers that was. All right, Let's see if I can catch Estelle in the infinite loop. Getting her in the taser is... Go. 
shit, I timed it wrong. I timed it wrong. Fuck. Damn. Turkey, can I get the turkey? No. Damn. So it's not based on combo numbers, it's based on damage, yeah. So the thing is, the more the more hits you get, the least lesser damage it does. So as long as you're doing the one, two, three, one, two, three, because that's the base damage. And it multiplies, so it's much higher to just do the 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, than it is to do like a 20, 30, 40 uh, combo on its own. Yo, I got a S rank. Holy shit. Just by doing the, um, just by doing the, the combos like that. Oh shit. Yo, what up, Rex? I'm kind of killing it in this game right now. Your boy just accepted affiliate. Nice. Congrats, dude. Congrats. I, I assumed uh, you, had, you reached that a long time ago, though, right? You were just doing on it. So does that mean you can't stream to YouTube anymore? Or, uh, not sure. What up, Buster? You need an emote now. Yeah, get the Rax emote. I did. I just didn't accept it. All right. Good thing it doesn't expire. Good for you, dude. All right, now getting to this bitch is going to be a problem. All right, let's do these resets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, boom. So I do feel that this is the best song in the game, from what I've seen so far. Yeah, I decided this was the better avenue for me. Oh, they put Jax in the game. Cool. <laughs> Pretty much. This guy is supposed to be Max, the Max of this game, but he's not there. Uh, but I'm now that I'm playing with him more, I am finding more discoveries and more avenues with him. So it's interesting. Those infinites, baby. Continue the combo though. A 
problem getting to these bitches is a little easier said than done because they move so much becomes a chore. I throw this vial, red cop will die. Did you figure out how to pick stuff up with an item in your hand yet? Yes, yeah, so um, I actually, when I started this uh, earlier, I had to, I did an achievement in this stage. Uh, there's an achievement where you grab like a golden turk in the beginning, you have to bring it to the end without dropping it or breaking it. And in the order to do that, there's two controller options in this game. There's the modern controllers, and then there's the legacy, which a legacy mimics the three button Genesis layout. I was playing on legacy, but unfortunately to do that achievement, it's just not possible because there's no way to like drop the item. So now I have the modern controls where it allows me to do that. So I'm still getting used to it. Blow up. There we go. music. This is the only civilian I see in the game that that girl just laying down. Only civilian I've seen. You know what? Let me try Shibo with uh, Floyd. Can I, can I do the infinite with him? Crazy if I can. Uh, he does break out of it eventually. All right. Still, did enough damage to him. All right. Okay. 
<laughs> so that infinite combo does work with a lot of people. Good to know. Alright, now these hoes. Problem is, the hit stun does not work with them. So this is going to be annoying. Single them out, that'd be great. All right, perfect. On their own, they're so much easier, but then this bitch I'm just gonna do that move. that damage scaling. Shit. Uh, she did break out of it eventually. What? I wasn't even on the same plane. That should not have worked. See, now she's just going to be stuck in this loop where she keeps doing these moves. There we go. Full life. All right. There was the butt plug, Rex. So it should be Shiva now. Oh, Dr. Zan, yeah, whoops. All right. Butt plug, yeah. <laughs> All right, this level is slippery, so there's going to be a challenge with Floyd. So I want to watch out with the guys with the yellow bandanas because they're the ones who do that kick that stretches across the screen. Come on. Come to me. See, they're, they're annoying because you, you go forward, they go back. So I like I need to keep moving back for them to come up to me. So their AI is rather annoying. Saw that coming. Get out of here with that.
Shit. I threw that, and I need it for these guys. These guys you can really only grab. You want really to do much else? Now here come the security guards. This song sounds like the We No Speak Americano song. We No Speak Americano. I don't know what that is. Doesn't ring a bell. Oh, fuck. Alright. I'm gonna have to get them all on one plane. Shit. Alright, I mean, get the turkey, get the turkey. Can't hit stun max. I'll link it in chat. All right, cool. Because Max has super armor the entire time, so I'm not going to be able to to stun him with a combo. So I actually need to fight him legit. Tackle. Thunder tackled. Shit. Thunder tackle again.
Oh, shit. How did he get me in that? I broke out. Thunder Tackle. Thunder Tackle. Drop Kick. Shit. Fuck. Oh, he does it three times? Fuck. Oh, jeez. Slim to Vice, it's too much strong. Max, he definitely is. So that's what makes him him. Ah, these fuckers. So they catch it when I throw it to them. Interesting. You know what though? I don't need I don't need the melee. Super armor. Look out of here with that. Oh, jeez. Shit. Oh, Sari.
fuck out of here with that. Come on. I can't even hear game sounds. No? I don't know. So initially what was happening was that my mic was cutting out before. So I had to lower the game sounds. To compensate. Oh shit. Invincibility frames, yep. Keep on coming. Strange, I just killed the biggest freaking hairy ass spider. <laughs> it's always nice. All those voices so loud, I have to keep it low. Really? Does my voice come out really loud? So initially it was coming out way too low, so I had to switch it up. Out of here. All right. Can I hit stun him? I was about to grab the apple. Fuck. I don't know if you can grab those weapons that he throws. That was annoying. This game's fun? Yes, I mean, it is. It's just different, though. It's not really Street to Rage. Um, they do need to tweak a few things to get it to feel right. Alright, so he's pretty easy. Just need to go to the corner. All right, he doesn't stay stunned forever. Okay. Shit. All right, so I don't think I can infinite combo him. So, can't really stun him in an infinite. Which is unfortunate.
Alright. So that, that kind of sucks. Makes him a bit more annoying. Because he's so slow. Oh, jeez. His mobility is just not there. So it just makes him so much of a chore to get to the other side of the screen. Oh my god. That's one problem with Floyd. I can see how this fight gets annoying. Just because he can't move, that, that makes this fight hard, just by that circumstance. Yo, Rich, what's up? Jax wins fatality. Normally that boss is extremely easy, but because this guy Floyd is so slow, it makes it hard. Frustrating, even. What's up, you, Rich? I hope, uh, hope all is well with you. Oh shit, alright. Elevator stage. Wanna to try to throw people off? like Jax. He does. He does. Absolutely. Alright, so I want to take care of the girls first, not the guys in the riot. Oh my god, but with his shit mobility, that would be a challenge. Alright, she's dead. This asshole. One. 
There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, long ass day, finally off tomorrow, so I practice some weapons I don't normally use. My buddy Cygnus X406 is thinking about doing a NDR speed run of this. No death run? That's very hard, especially considering how the, the mechanics work in this game. So, can you just play this guy like he's Mike Hagar? Because that's how the pro wrestle guy plays in Streets of Rage 2. Not really, because uh, the problem with this guy Floyd, he doesn't really have any. He doesn't have any suplexes. He doesn't have any throws. Uh, his, I mean, he has throws, but no suplexes or no um, like uh, wrestling moves per se. So not quite. Goodbye. So I want to take care of this guards first. You could play Miss Max, but no, just not the way it works. single them out, then I can take care of these guys. jumping was not working there. Very annoying. guys are one at a time. You can see I found out like a little infinite combo loop with uh, with Floyd. Very handy.
Ain't happening, baby. All right, time for Mr. Y. Again, he's a pushover. But again, because my mobility is shot, it's possible that he's hard. I can't get out of the way. <laughs> I can't get out of his way. Yeah, boy. I won't be able to get the turkey, though. Oh, well. But he could still go down like a bitch, right? <laughs> well, this guy, he just, you saw him, just, he just went like a bitch. Killed him. It's just that Floyd's mobility is so bad, so normally, like, those shots with the Uzi, I could dodge him all day with anyone else, but with Floyd, I just can't, because his animations between his punches are so slow. Unfortunately. Alright, so now I gotta rely. Come on. What? God damn it. Oh shit. I just die here. What? Come on, I dodged that. That's garbage. That's bullshit. The health was right there, too. Motherfucker. thing is it won't let me go back here so I need to take the turkey Serious? So certain things are very frustrating with Floyd. Just uh, you don't have a, a means to escape a lot of attacks. Which is 
Frustrating enough as it is with the normal characters, but with Floyd, doubly so. Like this. Like the, the guns, I can't even dodge them. This is frustrating. I can't. It becomes an exercise in frustration. Something that should be so simple with Floyd because his movement is so shit. It's so hard. serious don't the turkey was right there you motherfucker man god damn it it's stuff like that which is so frustrating there was no reason why I should have died It's just because enemies have priorities with their sneak jabs. Just so fucking annoying. So avoiding something like this. Something which is so simple. I'm already at game over. Motherfucker. Fucking dare. My god, this, wow, it was just so frustrating with Floyd. Could be worse, you'd be playing Action Girls Racing. Ooh. Person worst of all time. I like how the stained glass is the old games. Yeah, so that's a, that's a cool touch. It's uh, you'll notice that these two, the robots. This is the robot from Streets of Rage three, and this is the robot from Streets of Rage two molecule. So do you think they'll do a golden axe like this? Because that would be awesome. I mean, considering how well this game is done, from what I've seen with reviews and sales, they'd be foolish not to. Uh, to bring it up. Alright, this is going to be annoying, this fight, because these guys throw shurikens all the time. They're so fast, I can't even, I can't even get to them. That's the frustrating part. So 
So stuff like that, very frustrating. Please kill each other. Shittiness those Golden Axe 3, that'd be great. Alright, she's a pushover, but because my mobility's limited, it may be harder than I thought. Extra life, All right? Good, 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 good. We don't talk about Golden Axe Three or Beast Rider. Oh God, that one's I never even played that. Never will. No desire to do so because that that shit just sucks. All right. This is going to be uh, a challenge, because on their own, they're not a problem, but together, this is going to suck. I don't know if I'm going to make it. It's going to be very annoying. This is going to be tough. He can't move for shit.
I can stun her for as long as I can. Even better. Goodbye. She's done. Okay. Shit. Bye. That's how you beat the game. How death mecha scorpion. Of course, it wouldn't be a fighting game without some crazy uh, robot at the end, right? All right, I didn't die. Surprisingly, I actually surprised myself with that. I impressed myself. I, I thought I'd die with, with Floyd. It looks like that wasn't in the cards. Alright, so so far that's four characters completed with Axel, Blaze, Jerry Hunter, and now Floyd. Ir Iridia? Iridia? So now I need to beat it with with Adam. Let's see how that works out. All right. Hopefully I got enough points to unlock someone else, but I'm not sure. And yes, the game just abruptly ends like that. I mean, to be fair, Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3 did have, like, little drawings that happened during the credits. But usually there was, like, a, a little cutscene of Mr. X falling on the floor or something like that. And again, this game, between every level, has cutscenes. The fact that they didn't make one for the end is, seems like a pretty uh, big oversight. So I wonder how many times I died with, with uh, Floyd. I think I died maybe three, three or four times. I mean, he's strong, yes, but his uh, mobility just sucks. And especially with a lot of these enemies with super armor, with throws or area of effect attacks, you're screwed. It's uh, very hard to uh, overcome that. So when Cygnus was playing, he was playing an axle run, but it was just reach two axle sprite. Which was neato. Yes, so this game, uh, as you play it, you get points. And with the points, you unlock the characters from Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3. So, Streets of Rage 1, obviously, you can play Streets of Rage 1, Axel, Blaze, Adam. Streets of Rage 2, you can play as Streets of Rage 2, Axel, Blaze, Skate, and Max. Streets of Rage 3, you can play as uh, Axel, Skate, Blaze, Dr. Zan, and Shiva.
hopefully at some point down the line you can place this girl uh i always forget her name estelle and hopefully you can play as max because they you fight max as the boss here it would only make sense that you get to play as him so the guy i just played as floyd he is the apprentice of uh, dr zan from Street Rage 3. he's the one who gave him these cybernetic arms So now I wonder if everyone has a three hit infinite, the one, two, three reset, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> kind of changes the way the game is played, so. I'm going to have to play around with that. Do you have this game yet, Rich, or uh, are you waiting on it? Fifteen minutes to beat that stage. Rank B. Nope, not going to be enough. That's Shiva right there. Shiva's the last diamond. So like, for example, you see, uh, these are the characters I have so far. So these are the obvious Streets of Rage 4 ones, Axel, Blaze, Sherry, Floyd, Adam. But you also get to unlock, as you play, these sprites of the original games. So Blaze, Adam, Axel, and Streets of Rage 2, Escape, Blaze, Axel, Max, and Streets of Rage 3, Axel, Blaze, Skate, Dr. Zan, and then Shiva is the last one. So that is cool, and, and those characters all have their specific characteristics from those games. Ready for sale, I have other stuff to catch up on review, and I'm paying down my new PC build. Alright. I know on Steam it was on sale for, uh, I'd like to say 22 bucks, but I don't know if that's still going on, to be honest. You know what, if I do, if I do a stage select, I should be able to, uh, to unlock Shiva. Let me just get Shiva now, because it, it would be quick enough. Uh, we do Blaze, Streets of Rage 1. I also want the Capcom beat em up bundle at some point. Yeah, I need to get that too. All right. Now, unfortunately, some of the old sound effects are missing because Blaze, when she does that flip kick, Teresa Rage 1, you hear like, da -da 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 -da, it's like a reverb, but they didn't do it here. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. Ah, uh, he 
broke the combo, that son of a bitch. Using melee weapons is nowhere near as satisfying here as it was in the older games. has reach, which definitely helps. How did he break? How did he break out of that? Come on. Yeah, the Capcom beat him up on the list, the one with, uh, was it Captain Commando, Final Fight, uh, I forget what other games. out of here. Combo. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Steamrolling. King of Dragons, Captain Commando, Final Fight, and Battle of Cult. Okay. All 
Okay, she eventually gets stunned out of it. She's mad now. Is he even throwing enemies at her? Is useless. Which is very annoying. Shiva. Yeah, there's Shiva. So now, Shiva's in the select screen. But it's very odd that they put Shiva in there and not Rue, because Shiva was a secret character in Streets of Rage 3. You needed to do a, a button command to get him. Very strange they didn't put Ruin there. Anyways, that is enough for me because it is 319. Time flies when you're playing Streets of Rage. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that was the run with Floyd. And now, officially, the last one I need to play is Adam. So I'll see if I do that tomorrow. But uh, for those of you watching, uh, thank you for hanging on. Thank you to uh, Rich. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you, uh, Ernie, Islam, Two Vice, obviously Rax, um, Buster. Thank you guys for chilling. And hopefully, frustrations aside and minor quibbles aside, uh, on the whole, Streets of Rage Four is uh, it's it's entertaining. It's just they need to patch it up. They need to release some patches, refine the gameplay, uh, give some more options as far as dealing with invincibility frames and all that stuff, so thank you, Buster, thank you. You know, I, I try to play well. That's uh, that's my M.O. So thank you guys for hanging out. Maybe I'll be back tomorrow. I'm not quite sure. We'll see what happens. Stay safe. Stay inside, all right? Peace out.